Hello, welcome back to our channel. My name's Julie. If you're new here, welcome. My husband Justin and I are full time resellers, and our main flat pat. So, in today's video, I'm going to go over two days worth of sales. Um, I didn't ship out yesterday. This is kind of becoming a trend. I used to ship out every single blessed day. And lately, like, unlike the weekdays where maybe we don't have as many orders like come in quickly. So, you know, they didn't come in until later in the night. I just have been like, just wait and ship it tomor tomorrow. Um, we have two day handling. Why not utilize it? You know, instead of wasting the gas, going to the post office. Yes, I know you can have your post office pickup, but we live very close to the post office and we're just way more comfortable dropping the items off ourselves. So I'm going to take you over to the packing area and um, show you what's sold. I feel like we're definitely moving into holiday time and you'll see what I mean in a minute. First, we'll go over the shoes that sold. Um, nothing too spectacular. Those Crocs sold on Poshmark for $20. The ASIC wrestling shoes sold on eBay for $22.50. Um, those are like natural sole, like heeled sandals. They sold on eBay for $17.99. And those women's, they were white hay dudes. I soaked them, but they still didn't come that clean. So they sold on eBay for $15.29. I won't bore you with the individual clothes. I will talk about two items sold. Oh, sorry. Dropped my notebook. This fisherman sweater. I'll put a picture of it up on the screen, but I sold it on eBay for let's see out oh, 47 dollars and 49 cents and then this torrid velvet top sold for 23 dollars and 74 cents and then there's a variety of items that are anywhere from like seven dollars to like 15 dollars in there all right let's move on up to the table this is why i was talking about the holidays being here I'm definitely selling lots of holiday items and toy items. So this was free from my neighbor. I've definitely sold this before. It's like a pumpkin blow mold and that sold for $20 and 89 cents. And obviously I have nothing into it. Um, this jingle pal, I have listed so many jingle pals and this is the third one I've sold. So for $20 and 89 cents, and it even has a flaw, which I showed. See, one of the tops of the candy cane is missing. Um, this came free in the church sale. It's just a scarecrow candy dish sold for $13. Um, I finally got around to listing my five American Girl dolls I had. Let me back up so you can see her. She was the most valuable one out of the group. She is a one of a kind. Here, I'll show you her foot. I had never seen this before and I've sold a lot of American Girl dolls, but her foot says one of a kind, which means they picked her out. So she kind of has a slightly darker skin tone. Like it's kind of like a medium skin tone, blue eyes, blonde hair. She was in excellent condition. She sold very quickly um, for the full price of $75.99. And then over on Poshmark, I sold her. She's so cute. Look at the glitter around her eyes. Um, she was in great shape. Just her hair is a little bit frizzed out. Um, she could use a little conditioner. I know people use fabric softener to help with it. But um, she sold on Poshmark for $48. And then just some odds and ends. I listed these helmets. I had one from every team. Um, I bought a whole jug of them at like a sale for probably like, I can't remember the exact cost. I think maybe I paid like a dollar or two for the entire thing. And I've been selling them off for like $6.99 a piece. Um, this is just a, um, one's like a starfish ones. They're different shapes, candle holders from party light that came free from the church sale. And I accepted a $10 offer on it. This was a great sale. Um, Justin bought a bunch of beer taps. He only paid, I think, like a dollar fifty, maybe two dollars for it, and it sold for 
$45.59. And I just listed this yesterday. It sold really quick. The brand is Daisy, D-A-Z-E-Y. That was an excellent shape. Very heavyweight vintage egg beater sold for $17. And the last thing to sell were these weights. Um, I think Justin took a video of how he packed them up, so I can insert that here. All right, I just got done making a box for these 44 pound uh, weight plates that sold. I make a bottom box and then like a top lid that will fit on top. And then I just have to tape it all up. But these weights sold, I think it was like $102. They're 44 pounds each. So they're going UPS and they cost about $70 to ship. up for the day and our total profits were $391.03 so not too bad for a two-day period all right as you guys probably know fourth quarter is right around the bend um what is today the 20th of September is when I'm videoing this so literally 10 days until we're officially there so I wanted to go over shipping supplies with you first I'm gonna start with the free ones because who doesn't like free um i'm sure most of you are aware but in case you're not you can go on to usps.com and purchase for free so i guess it's not really purchased let's say order free priority mail shipping supplies that come right to your door you can order them in packs of like 10 some come in 15 some come in 25 um so whatever quantities you want. And it normally for us takes a couple days to, you know, be dropped off by our mailman. I highly recommend getting your orders in now and bulking up, bulking up. I think I want to say stocking up. Yes. Stocking up for the holiday season, because we all have known in the past, there was the great, um, what's this called priority mail envelope shortage of late 2020 we don't want to go there again but all right i'm going to go over the ones that i personally regularly use but i'll show you their website in a minute there are so many options priority mail padded flat rate envelope love this um i use it anytime i'm like sending clothes or even i mean if you can fit a box in here you can put a box in here um if i'm shipping i would say anywhere past to the we'll say to the west of chicago like i can go to chicago to illinois normally and it's cheaper just to send it regular priority mail but anything past that is when i it starts to be cheaper and if i go all the way down to florida um for me personally in pennsylvania it's cheaper to use the flat right envelope up next is the tyvac envelope this is kind of like um it's like very hard to rip almost has like fibers in it i think it's supposed to be like water resistant um anytime i'm sending something priority mail that's like close to me it would be eight dollars and thirty cents is what i would pay to send it in this but if they're all the way up to maine down to georgia and over to like um Illinois, even I think parts of Wisconsin, it's cheaper for me to send it in just the regular priority mail envelope. Now, obviously, by the name on it, priority mail, you can only use these free shipping supplies when you're shipping priority mail. Do not try to mask it, you know, put a bag around it. They're giving them to us for free. By using priority mail service, you need to use it to use them ugh, for free. Wow, words are hard. So don't screw it up for the rest of us and use them when you're not sending it priority mail. 
All right, next box that I love, this is called the box four. It's about seven by seven by six inches. I used to use this box a lot. Now I'm finding I'm not using it quite as much, but yeah, it's just like a little square box. Um, up next, probably my most used one, shoe box. So yeah, it's just called the shoe box. It's dimensions are about like eight by six by 15. I use these all the time. Then for what we call board boxes, which here I'll show you, they're just kind of like, you know, long skinny boxes like this. They have all different sizes. I personally use the 1097, 1092, and 1095. And I like it because if I'm sending something long, I can, you've seen me in videos, I'll slide them into each other. You can use like the slightly smaller one to do that. Um, so I find that size box handy. And then another one that I use a lot, this is pretty much like the biggest box they have. It's about 12 by 12 by eight. Um, it's called the number seven, I do believe. Yeah, box number seven, priority mailbox. Um, you saw me use a couple of them earlier in this video. That's also a very handy box to have. All right, now I'll show you how to order them on their website. All right, here we are on USPS's website. If you just go up to shop, go down to shipping supplies and click on it. Then if you look over on the side, you can actually filter to just the free supplies. And if you click on that, it will give you all the free supplies. There are numerous pages of it. And you can see underneath of it, it will tell you like this one comes in a pack of 10 or a pack of 25 and you can order numerous packs and they'll deliver them right to your door. Now let's talk about my basic shipping supplies, the ones that aren't tied to priority mail that I don't, you know, I can use for any shipping method, but I have to pay for them myself. So I use four different sizes of poly bags. I lined them up so you can kind of see the comparison in size. Um, I do have all of these supplies, most of these supplies linked below. I am not saying that you have to buy them from where I buy them from, but just if you want to see the list of the different sizes, it'll help you out. But the smallest one I use is a 10 by 13. This fits most clothing items as long as they're not bulky. The next one is 12 by 15.5. This one, um, you know, like bulky sweaters and stuff fit in here good. Then I have a 14 and a half by 19. I think this is good for like stuffed animals and stuff. And then for really big items like coats or really large stuffed animals, or sometimes I even cut them and use them to like weatherproof boxes. This is a 19 by 24 bag. And then I also use just, I think if this is a nine by six bubble mailer. Um, sometimes I get them from eBay, like using my store coupon. If you're unfamiliar, um, if you have a store through eBay, um, you get a quarterly coupon to use on shipping supplies that you have to buy through eBay. So sometimes I get these. Um, I get these. They are a, what is it? Six by four and three quarter by four and three quarter. I call them the six by five by five. Um, little rectangle box. Love these boxes. I use my quarterly coupon to get these from eBay a lot, but I find this size to be very handy. And then this one is a six by eight by four. This is perfect for hats, like baseball cap hats, as long as they're not the super wide brim ones, um, but they fit in here very well. So I use that. And then the last time I ordered boxes from eBay um, with my coupon, I was kind of looking for a different size and I ended up with this box. So it is a 12 by 10 by eight. It's kind of similar to, to the bigger priority mailbox. It's a little smaller in one direction, but it's just a nice size box. If you spit like the Hallmark Jingle Pals really well and things like that. I just needed a box around this size to use when I'm shipping um, ground. And, you know, like, and I don't have a box available you know, because sometimes it's so much cheaper to send something ground than priority mail. So I was trying to replace the standard priority mailbox that I would use. So I ended up using those. Um, as for packing tape, I personally really like this duck general purpose packing tape. Um, but 
I did try the American Bubble Boy. We got some rolls free in our swag bags at FlipCon, and I really liked theirs too. So I'm going to do a price comparison. I grabbed this at Walmart.com or in your local Walmart store. Um, I normally buy like a case at a time though at Walmart.com. So I'm going to compare because I think it's going to be cheaper to get the American Bubble Boy kind now that they have tape. So I'll look into that. And then I make my own thank you labels. So I just grab these labels off of um, Amazon and use my thermal printer to print them. So I do believe, oh, I guess bubble wrap. I either get my bubble wrap from American Bubble Boy, where I buy the quads, which is four rolls at a time, or I have a Sam's membership. And at certain times of the year when it's on sale, the bubble wrap they sell there might actually be a little bit cheaper than American Bubble Boy. So I think that's pretty much all the supplies I use. So link below are all my affiliate links from Amazon, talking about all the products here. Obviously, I get a kickback if you purchase them from Amazon, but feel free to do your own research. You can just go on the sizes that I have and look for ones from other companies if you can find them cheaper. You can get ones with all different patterns and prints on them. Obviously, those ones cost more. I just do really like the quality of the kind that I get. They're nice and thick, and I haven't had any problems with rips. So if you're ordering from the post office, like I said, I recommend getting your box and envelope orders in soon because they'll definitely be getting busier and busier due to the holidays approaching. All right. Thank you so very much for watching. If you're new here and you're not subscribed, consider subscribing, hit the thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.